What's up guys, Slaughterfish back here with another video and this time we're doing another Skyrim build. This build is a Golden Saints build. Uh, this is some of the new Creation Club content that's been added into the game or made more accessible to everyone with the uh, Anniversary Edition. If you don't know, the Golden Saints are a, I guess you'd call them a faction or a type of Daedra. I'm not really exactly sure what they'd be classified as. But they're basically one of the groups that guards uh, Sheogorath's realm of the Shivering Isles. And in the new DLC stuff, or I guess Creation Club stuff, it seems like they somehow have the ability to make their way to Tamriel. If I'm being completely honest, I actually have never played the Oblivion uh, Shivering Isles DLC. So for all I know, they come to Nern in uh, that one as well. But to my understanding, I'm pretty sure you go to the Shivering Isles. Um, and that's kind of, you know, the DLC. Um, so yeah, so basically they're a group of, uh, you know, magically enhanced uh, Daedric humanoid people. Um, normally they're much taller than humans, but I don't have a, you know, a mod to make that happen. So I'm just a normal high elf. They basically look like high elf women. I'm pretty sure they're all women. Actually, I think I might have heard maybe there are males, but they're like super weak or something and just kind of like servants or something. But they're basically all women, um, and yeah, they have this super cool, uh, cool golden armor. There's the Golden Saints and the Dark Seducers, so the Dark Seducers have uh, dark, like, black armor. Oh, great. It's Boethia Cultist. I can hear him. Um, I'm just going to stay up on this rock and keep talking to y'all. But, uh, so yeah. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at uh, the weapon. So the weapon I'm using is the Golden Sword. Um, which has a damage of 92 when I never upgraded it. I'm just realizing that now. Alright, sorry about that guys. I just realized I had never uh, <laughs> upgraded the sword or uh, smithed it. So yeah, when fully upgraded um, and with some enchantments, it has a damage of 252, which is pretty fucking good. It also looks super cool. Um, I kind of wish the blade itself was gold, but you know, whatever. That doesn't really make any sense because gold's a really soft metal. And, uh, I don't know, maybe in the older version, you know, it has to look like how it did back in uh, Oblivion, which I totally get, and I still think this is a super cool looking sword. Um, I enchanted mine, so it absorbs 22 points of health and has a 50% chance of each element of Fire, Frost, and Shock to 28 points of damage. Oh, and you guys should know, when smithing these, um, you use gold ingots, but I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you have to have Daedric smithing because uh, they are technically Daedric weapons because uh, they're from Sheogorath's realm. And then um, for the apparel, we have gold necklace, uh, which I enchanted, so my health is increased by 70 points and one-handed attacks do 45% more damage. And a gold ring, so one-handed attacks do 45% more damage, and my health regenerates 35% faster. And then the golden saint armor, which is kind of funny because it's basically just like clothing, and gold is a pretty, you know, soft metal, so it's kind of funny that it has such a good armor rating. But it has an armor rating of 306, which is pretty fucking good. And I enchanted mine, so conjuration costs 28% less to cast, and health regenerates 38% or 35% faster. And so yeah, you can conjure other uh, saints, uh, an archer and a warrior, so you know that can be helpful in battle. And so to just to show it off a little bit, um, this, they like I was saying, they are, I guess they're not that much taller than you, but they're definitely bigger than you. Um, and they have glowing eyes and stuff, so yeah. And moving on to the boots, uh, the boots and the gauntlets have an armor rating of 129 when fully upgraded. I enchanted my boots, so one hit attacks do 45% more damage, and my stamina regenerates 35% faster. And then the gauntlets, the gauntlets are honestly might be my favorite of everything in the set. I think they're pretty, pretty cool, and I like the spikes on them and the kind of flame designs. Um, but yeah, so I enchanted these ones to also have that one-hand enchantment and blocking uh, is 45% more effective. And so the Golden Saint helmet, kind of interesting looking, has this whole kind of like butterfly aesthetic. Um, not my favorite, but you know, not the worst in the world. Um, and so it has an armor rating of 150. Conjuration spells cost 28% less to cast and magic regenerates 70% faster. And then finally the shield. Um, has an armor rating of 87, and I enchanted this one, so blocking uh, is 45% better, 
and I uh, oh my health is increased by 70 points so the golden armor is heavy armor so you're gonna want to max out juggernaut so the armor rating is increased by 100% and then well fitted so 25% uh, armor bonus if wearing all heavy armor tower of strength 50% less dagger matching set this is a matching set so uh, you'll get a additional 25% armor bonus and then reflect blows 10% chance to reflect melee damage back on an enemy while wearing heavy armor and so you also want to fill out the block skill tree so max out shield wall so blocking is 40% more effective then quick reflexes so time slows when blocking a uh, like power attacks it's pretty fucking helpful um, I don't think you even have to keep your shield up you can just drop it and like walk behind them and start like uh, slashing them and stuff it's pretty cool um, and then deflect arrows. Arrows that hit your shield do no damage. Elemental, elemental protection, uh, fire, frost, and shock is uh, made much less effective if it if it hits your shield directly. So that's the thing is you've got to keep your shield up. And then uh, block runner able to move faster with a shield raise. Shield oops, shield charge. Sprinting with a shield knocks down most targets. And then uh, this lets you do a power bash, um, and then makes it more uh, five times more deadly. And then disarming bash, this is pretty helpful, uh, bashing people can disarm them. And then go ahead and max out armsmen, so one hit weapons do twice as much damage. And get bladesmen 3, so uh, attacks with swords have a 20% chance of doing even more critical damage. Fighting stance, so power attacks uh, cost 25% less stamina. Savage strike, standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. Can do a one-handed power attack while sprinting that does double critical damage with critical charge. And finally, paralyzing strike backwards power attacks has a 25% chance to paralyze the target. And then finally, you're going to want to put some skill points into Conjuration. You only need to go up to Adept. I accidentally hit Expert, but whatever. Um, you only need to go up to Adept the Golden Saints or Adept Conjuration. And then uh, Summoner 2 can summon or raise undead three times as far away. Atromancy, double duration. Elemental potency, they're 50% more powerful. In Twin Souls, you, have a, you can conjure two at the same time. So in theory, I could do two of the same one, or I could do, you know, a warrior and an archer. So I have, you know, someone providing cover fire and someone to back me up in combat pretty fucking helpful and it's cool that there like is two uh, variants alright so let's go actually let's fuck with these mammoths and see what happens oh you got fucked up oh shit alright let's see how my people do yeah, they got they got some decent power to them Yeah, that's that slow time. Oh, damn. Ah. Back here, motherfucker. Finally. God damn you. Oh, he got fucked up. Alright, let's see how uh, some of my warriors do. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
damn, damn, they couldn't take out a single one. All right, I don't know, y'all, but <laughs> that was kind of weak. You might want to just use the archers as some backup. I'm about to just use archers, because normally I would just use bone men, but uh, I think these are probably better than bone men. Oh. Okay. Oh. Lucky hit. Oh, get back here. Oh, damn. Hey. What, you want some? Oh. Well, you don't want some. Bitch. I told you, you don't want this. Alright, where's this one going? Yeah, this build is pretty cold, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, where's that fucking hag raven? Right So yeah, um, that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. I mean, I think you guys get the point. This this is a pretty cold build. Um, I mean, because it's supposed to kind of be up there with, like, Daedric level shit, which kind of makes sense because it's from a Daedric realm. Um, it is definitely not as cold as, um, you know, Daedric armor uh, but or weapons, but it's, you know, up there for one of the better ones. Uh, An armor rating of 801 is actually pretty fucking good. I think fully upgraded like dragon armor or dragon bone is like I want to say it's like a thousand something so like you know this is pretty close to that um, and yeah so I, I would definitely recommend this build if you're looking for something new uh, if you're a fan of Shea Gorath this kind of would uh, you know work well especially if you have something like the winter sun mod so yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one